Welcome to the Regional Transportation Plan Online Open House. I'm Ben Bacenta, Director of Regional Planning at PSRC, and I'm here today to provide an overview of the plan's financial strategy. Federal laws and regulations require that a metropolitan region's long-range transportation plan has a strategy that identifies revenues to cover operation and maintenance of the existing transportation system, along with revenues for new transportation projects and services. The draft plan that we've released for public comment looks at transportation investments that will be needed out over the next 28 years to the year 2050. It's a $300 billion plan of investments. Well, that's a big number. It is consistent with the amounts that we've invested in transportation over the last several decades. And it will fund transportation projects like building new bus lines, new high capacity transit like light rail and commuter rail, replacing bridges, adding HOV lanes to freeways, and new fast ferries, improving city streets and other transportation improvements. The good news is that our financial models predict that 86% of that $300 billion will be covered by existing revenue sources. However, that does leave about a $43 billion gap if we want to implement all of the transportation projects we will need to serve the fast growing Central Puget Sound. Planners and financial experts have identified a menu of options in use around the country that could be used to fund new transportation investments here over the next 30 years. You can see that there are different approaches for cities, counties, the state, and transit agencies. Our region doesn't need to take all of these approaches to be successful, but some will be necessary to address the funding gap that we see. One important assumption in the plan is that improved fuel economy, along with building momentum for transition to electric vehicles, will make fuel taxes the predominant source of transportation funds today, an increasingly unreliable source of revenues as less and less gasoline is used. Implementation of a replacement, a road usage charge or vehicle miles traveled charge as a new revenue source is an important assumption in the plan. Please check out the link below to the financial strategy section of the draft plan, where you can find all of the details. We'd love to hear your comments and ideas, so please use the comment form below or on the main website. All comments that we receive will be summarized and presented to the PSRC Transportation Policy Board, a group of elected and appointed officials and other community, business, labor, and environmental leaders as they refine and make changes to the plan this spring. We expect the plan to be adopted in May of 2022. Thank you for visiting our online open house and please check out the other topics as well.